Hello, hi, it's your girl Mince Pie. So today, my loves, my sweetie pies, my darlings, I have an interesting review for you today. As you can see from my YouTube channel and from my Instagram, wait, what? What, what do you mean you, so you haven't seen any of my Instagram posts? That's weird. I thought you were a supporter. Oh. But honestly, if you are up to date with my YouTube and my Instagram, you will see they are lacking some dunks, okay? Nike did their thing, so they gave us Nike by You dunks. If you don't know what Nike by You is, it used to be called Nike ID, so you could go on and customize the silhouettes that they've given us. Not all sneakers and silhouettes are available, but the traditional Nike ID that I'm sure everyone, their auntie, their sister, their mother did was the Air Force Nike ID. I have two myself, but this is my first time trying out this new branded version that is now called Nike by You. I'm not gonna say much about this, but one thing I love about this review is that it's not gonna be outdated. Like this keeps on coming back. Hence why I'm even dropping the video now, because coincidentally, it's coming back on the 24th of March. So the 24th of this month, by the time you see it, it will be three days until it drops. Make sure you have a membership account. So with Nike, it's free to sign up. Just make sure you have an account because then it opens you up to all the materials available. You don't want to be in a situation where you're seeing everyone's designs and you're thinking, hello, hi. I didn't see this one. I, I didn't, I did not see this material maybe have a look at other people's reviews just get a feel of what has been done so then you know what to avoid and what to go with for your nike by you so we're just gonna get into it this is a review of my nike by you dunks so i have already taken it out of the box it wasn't the same box as what you would get from like nike and sneakers it was not an easy pull tab type of situation um it was definitely really taped up like securely like they, they did not want anyone getting this shoe i tell you it is a nice white box very sleek very cute on the front we have nike by you on the side we have swoosh on another side it's plain on that opposite side we have crtm i don't even know what that is and on this side we have the size chart with nike by and your name inserted there with the image of your creation underneath it i think that's such a cute and personal touch nike well done for that one i love it with standard Nike logos and information on the back. And you know we love one of these. You know we do. Yeah, we do, we do, we really, around here, we love this type of box, okay? It's got a little hole here for you to just pull out and push back in. Um, really good design, I've always loved these boxes. Let's get into the shoe. When you open it, tissue paper is lovely. Tissue paper is, is definitely very lovely. A really cool design. If I was going to like a Nike workshop, I would expect them to probably give me this paper. Fair warning, I've already opened the shoe, which is why I didn't say this is an unbox, but I wanted to like really see how the colors work. Ciao. Anyway, so why did I think this was bad? No, I'm not even playing for the camera. This is not bad. Oh, let's get into it. Well, I designed it, so you know, it's not much to get into, you know what I mean? Because oh, I don't know the shoe inside out. The areas of the shoe that you can customize is the front of the shoe, the quarter of the shoe, the swoosh, the back, um, the heel, the laces. It doesn't come with like an eye stay or like um, a lace tab, so there is no option for that. The tongue, the lining, the midsole, and the outsole at least when i'm speaking about this you'll understand the areas where i had complete creative freedom and the areas where i had zero control because it's just the default design the whole shoe is suede i went with wolf gray in the back here and the lighter gray option in the front um i did want to do kind of dark gray dark gray and then light gray but because i also wanted the tongue to be wolf gray i said that would be way too much dark gray dark gray dark gray it will look it won't go for the color blocking that I intended it to be. Also wanted to do the wolf ray, a lighter gray option, and then an even lighter gray option in the front, but there was no options for a lighter gray. This was all I could work with. One thing about the Night by You, the colors are limited. Don't expect to recreate your favorite dunk that passed, okay? But um, yeah, I think that the light gray works quite well like before i didn't really like it because it was looking more sale it wasn't exactly looking gray it wasn't giving me 
gray i did want a pop of color so then i gave it a yellow swoosh also in suede with yellow laces to match we have a white midsole to practically break down the whole shoe and just let it breathe i gave it a gum brown bottom sole to give it a little bit of character and brown and yellow go really well together so you know it wasn't even a fight you know what i mean like it, it just worked the heel is yellow with the nike lettering in gray i know you can change it you can put a name you can put a date this tongue is just like your normal type of nylon it gives you very much if you were to put that on a tracksuit you'll be going the laces now i'm not sure if yellow is doing too much because in camera maybe it looks okay but definitely in person these yellows are different i'll tell you that for free okay so you don't go and make this mistake you say oh yeah i did the shoe just like this i want the shoe as well oh darling darling take your time suede will not take on color as well as every other material like if it was nylon or if it was just um leather i'm sure that it would take on the color better my boyfriend ordered me some laces right? they're from lace lab um length 54 inches so he had been ranting and raving about how good these laces were so i said all right i'll give it a try you know what i mean um i'm gonna put them on one so you can see what they look like side by side it's gonna have to be you guys to decide because oh the white obviously matches the midsole. It does match the tongue tab as well. Like it does help it break it down. But the yellow just gives it a bit more character. I don't know. I actually want you guys to let me know what you think because I'm not sure. I guess it will depend on the outfit as well. They do have other options for materials. They had pebbled leather and just normal premium leather. The wall in the interior is wolf gray and the immediate insole at the bottom is black. You can't change that. That's how it comes. Oh, and aglets, you can't control them. Don't get excited, okay? Relax. One thing I do have to say, which, you know, some people might not care about it, but I think is a big thing for me. And if Nike changed this, they would completely change the game. But the fact that you can't change the toe box and the tip separately, you cannot change this section here, it comes as one, you know? I don't know why they did that. I think they did that for a reason because maybe the ideas would be too sick for them to handle and maybe people will start selling their designs. I have no idea. Now, like, imagine if this toe box was wolf grey. Shoot, crazy, crazy. If that toe box, hello, hello, hi. If it was wolf grey, it's over now sizing is where i kind of flopped because the size of these is 5.5 uk and in one of my previous videos with the night disrupts i was regretting getting a five and i said i would have got a 5.5 this is where i've learned that dunk disrupts and normal dunks they're not the same they're really not the same in sizing at all because the 5.5 is big i can't lie to you these like dunks in general i'm just gonna say it right now true to size Put it out there true to size don't go and play yourself especially with a dunk your foot slipping and sliding out nah man that's not what you want but um i'm just gonna firm it the comfortability is good you know it's decent it's obviously not your typical running shoe but you know it's comfortable i can go out on a day with these and i'll be perfectly fine you know what i mean um no real problems there these retail for £104.95 but with the student discount wherever you can get it it will be £94.45 £94.45 to design your own shoe of course it's not the colours of the rainbow you don't get every single option but fam this is a really good steal like bro I'm not complaining are you? why? so guys that is the end of my video I really hope you enjoyed it I enjoyed filming it running up to summer I feel as though we should now start equipping ourselves with some light summer shoes okay because bj's letting us out one thing i will advise is that you follow soul supplier on twitter and then make sure your notifications are on so that when they do drop you know immediately do not i repeat do not go by nike's reminder you'll be sitting there dunkless and the notifications will be a bit annoying because they're dropping stuff daily like about a lot of things a lot of restocks a lot of stuff that's dropping it's just worth the notifications personally because you know in this life like it's so hard to get sneakers as it is so if there's a restock you want to be the first to know but anyway i hope you really enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching please make sure you like comment subscribe and share all them things there and i will see you in my next one stay blessed stay sweet and stay safe